Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing a little bit of fall cleaning. <laughs> I'm trying to get this uh, fireplace up and going, um, or at least ready for when the winter months come and things get cold enough that we're going to use it. So uh, I took it all apart so I could clean um, the chimney pipe. Uh, I had a few different ideas of how I was going to do it. Um, I, kind of, my original idea was to do it all from the top down. But I want to make sure that I get everything out. So I, I've opened it up this way for the first time and I'm going to try it this way. Every year I'll maybe do it a little different. But I want to show you what I found. So this is one of my 45 degree elbows. This is a straight pipe. Down at the bottom, I've got like just a pile of this creosote buildup. It's pretty incredible. Of course, it's extremely hard to film black. <laughs> so it, it, I, it's not going to show up very well at first. Um, it, there's a lot in there, and there's reasons why it's in there. The biggest reason why is. I live in a really damp climate. Last year I was focused on building my house and not on creating a dry wood supply. And the high humidity in the wood, plus the high humidity in the air, made the fire burn in such a way that it created a lot of buildup. Now I did my best to keep it clean during the burning season, uh, but I, I still have quite a bit. So I'm really glad I'm tearing this thing open and cleaning it up. I'm gonna get it all out of there, and uh, hopefully it uh, it works out in the end. So I I bought this uh, chimney sweep attachment. It goes on the end of a drill. It, it's kind of intriguing to me. It has this uh, attachment that goes on some flexible rods that I can stick up here and run a drill, <laughs> and it spins and. Uh, these are just like weed eater cord. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen the string trimmers. I guess that's the technical term. Uh, I have high hopes for it. Pretty sure it's going to work really well. So uh, I'll get this all set up to catch all the nasties that's going to fall out of there so my whole house doesn't turn black. And uh, we'll give her a try. So I tested this cleaning system out on one of the two pieces that I've taken off and it works really well. So I'm going to set up the camera here so you can see how it works. Um, I'm really impressed. I like it. I like it better than the traditional brush system so far. We'll see how it works all the way up. But check this out. I really like how the bristles bend and can touch all of the edges of the pipe and spin <laughs> so that it can brush everything off. Feeling really confident that if I go slowly up the chimney pipe, I'll get everything out of it and I don't have to worry about the little spots that uh, could have creosote buildup. Okay, so I take this bag here so I can uh, put the Finger up the pipe and close it off, and hopefully everything will fall down into the bag as I go. That's kind of the idea. Hopefully not too much comes out this hole. I can keep it closed. We'll give it a try here. These flexible rods are really nice for going through these corners. Uh, they flex really well. <laughs> They're actually really nice. 
and they've they've got this button here, so I can just uh, pop this one out, pop the next one right on, and continue up the pipe until I get all the way up. I guess it could have been worse up in there, but I think I think I'm really happy that I got this much out of there. That was really slick. <clears throat> part of the reason I took the stovepipe off is so I could get into this part of the oven. Um, reading the manual, it says that uh, you, it wants you to use high heat because creosote can build up in here and I did make a habit of cleaning this out multiple times during um, during the season last year and uh, I, I wanted to take it apart and see what it looked like inside and it it's pretty dirty Okay, so this cleaned up really well. I think I have it all cleaned out now, and now I'm going to put it all back together. Well, I have it all cleaned out and put back together, and I think it's going to work really well. All set for the cold season. I'm excited. Uh, as you guys can tell, the rain has started, and uh, that's, that's a sign that winter's coming in my neck of the woods. So, we're pretty excited. Um, I'll have to fire this thing up, make sure it's all good and set to go. When it comes down to it, uh, this method of cleaning a chimney is awesome. So much better than anything else I've done so far. And it's 
you know, if, if somebody had a different style of chimney that, uh, you know, has direct access through their fireplace, uh, this tool would be excellent. You don't have to climb up on the roof at all. You can go right down from the bottom up and, and it cleans very well. So, you know, if anybody's wanting some uh, guy to buy it first, I'll be your guy. I bought it first <laughs> and it seems to work out okay. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put a link to the one I bought down in the description, but uh, just, you know, when you're shopping around, you see this style, it'll probably work really good for you. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was useful for you, and, uh, and thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.